Hey there, it's Dr. Drea. This is the 37th episode of Dr. Drea, Cyber Gal for Jesus, Words of Encouragement or Woe. The objective of this 37th video is to continue sharing some of the lessons I've been learning during my present promised land using the biblical book of Joshua as a key navigational aid as I live to experience the manifested promises of God in this season of my life's journey. Since I mentioned in Woe episode 34 that my aim is to walk through all 24 chapters in Joshua by or before the end of 2024, this Woe will focus on Joshua chapter 5 verses 1 through 12, specifically verses 2, 4 through 5, 7, and 9, which state, At that time the Lord told Joshua, make flint knives and circumcise the second generation of Israelites. Joshua had to circumcise them because all the men who were old enough to fight in battle when they left Egypt had died in the wilderness. Those who left Egypt had all been circumcised, but none of those born after the Exodus during the years in the wilderness had been circumcised. So Joshua circumcised their sons, those who had grown up to take their father's places, for they had not been circumcised on the way to the promised land. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the shame of your slavery in Egypt. So that place has been called Gilgal to this day. As I journey further into the land of God's promises, the concept of circumcision has become top of mind. Of course, not in a literal sense, as the physical act of circumcision can only be achieved in biological males, but rather in a metaphorical and spiritual sense, which the Apostle Paul in Romans 2, 25 through 29, describes as true circumcision of the heart. Shout out to Logos Bible's resources, including Easton's Bible Dictionary, which describes the spiritual meaning of circumcision as purification of the heart, and symbolically representing removal of sin and the sanctifying effects of grace in the heart. So the key points of this navigating the promised land lesson is that most assuredly our entry into the full manifested promises of God means we're a hashtag new generation who loves Jesus and whose hearts are ready for God's kingdom to come. Shout out to Ebuka songs and Moses Bliss. Until next time, it's Dr. Drea encouraging us to continue to reflect Jesus even in these cyber streets.